All right, one more head left. Well, this is effective. I wonder if I should just shoot it. Should probably just shoot it. Dust crown ring. That's nice. Oh, I just remembered something we can do. I just remembered something we can do. Not sure how I forgot to do this, but uh, I guess we could do that. Forgive me, I'm going to be a little bit mysterious about exactly what I'm talking about until we get there. I think we've got the time. Yeah, we got the time to try it. I'm not sure how good it'll go, but yeah, let's do it. Let's let's do it. Okay, we're sort of taking a back path into the uh, graveyard right now. Not graveyard. The um, Dark Moon Garden. Because there's a boss in Dark Moon Garden we haven't touched yet. And it's kind of hard, but considering I don't really have much else to do right now, I think I want to go ahead and try to kill it. By hard, I don't mean actually hard. It's more like just, um, it's just a boss. It, it may or may not be hard. I'm, I'm kind of not sure yet. Also, there's giant cat boulders. I hate these things. I hate these things. I hate these things. Oh, God. They won't let up on you. There we go. That one let me kill it without much trouble. This next one I might be so, not be so lucky on. Okay, okay, okay. Damn it! Oh god, cat boulders! Alright, 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 alright. That's the way to the boss. Kind of will look around in the woods a little bit over here. There's a random treasure chest, I'm pretty sure, if I remember right. Garden by these things! Let's see if I can pull them, pull them away. So I can get at this treasure chest without much problem. Chain of Ember! 
All right, leave. We don't need anything else from here. Okay. All right, this should look slightly familiar. Um, we only have three Estus. Kind of feel like we might need more than that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go back super quick. Hi. Right. Let's just let's just not. I really just want to take a break at this bonfire. Okay. Five Estus. I'm not sure if that's good for this or if we need more. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to do this with five Estus, so... Unless I could warp to another. There's a stone dragon ball on fire, swinging back to the lake really easily. Mm. I could go back to Firelink Shrine, get 20, and then warp to Undead Parish. Yeah, let's do that. These two bonfires aren't super far apart, so. This is probably a good idea. And then we can warp to the Undead Parish Bonfire. We run found from there, back to where we were, and then go fight the boss. Good plan. Break. That's what you get for following me over the bridge. You dick. Okay. This boss. This is, um... Probably my favorite looking boss in the game. This is a boss you don't want to screw around with too much. You have to be unafraid when you're fighting it, um, as a lot of the tactics for fighting this boss involve rolling underneath it. How did someone get up there? Eh, whatever. Whew, I'm about to have a fun time fighting this thing. I do love this boss, but... Mmm... It's going to be nerve-wracking. Okay, Sif. Okay, Sif. Yet another boss where the lock-on feature really doesn't help you all that much. You kind of want to try either staying really far into it or really far away from it. Because the reach on that sword is kind of crazy. All right, good drink. All right, Sif, okay, Sif, okay, Sif. 
Why did I turn my back to it? Ooh, that was good. Woo. Okay. Good boy. Nice doggy. Nice doggy. Don't hit me again. Don't hit me again. Oh god. Drink. Come on, puppy. Come on, puppy. Come on, puppy. Oh, don't. Don't do that. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh. Roll into him. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Drink. All right, puppy. Okay, puppy. Oh, come on. Get it again. What in the world is going on here? I've never seen him do this before. Ooh. Pulled my shield up right at the last second. Mm, come on, dog. Come on, dog. What are you afraid of? Okay. <sighs> Got him. I don't feel good about getting him, but I got him. That was Sif, everybody. Sif is Artorius's puppin. He is Artorius's doggy dog. From there, we get the Hornet Ring, and we get a critical item. Let's look at it. The item in question is the Covenant of Artorius. Use that to traverse the abyss. There is a boss where if we are not wearing that ring, it will instantly kill us. So it's rather important that we have that on us for when we get to that boss. More importantly, I feel like I've got enough souls to level up. And let's get out of here and see if we can actually do that. Let's hold it. Yep, we can hold it in two hands, guys. Awesome. And that's why I call it Tetsaiga. <laughs> cool. All right. We're not going to be using this weapon very much for now, but we'll keep upgrading it. Probably to screw around with later. All right. Uh, and then let's go ahead and upgrade. I think I've got a couple dragon scales I can spin on it. Yep. And in order to get Dragon Great Sword plus five, I only need two more Dragon Scales from somewhere. I'll worry about that later, though. In its state, the Dragon Great Sword is in a very good good place as far as using it, and the Dragon Great Sword is my PvP weapon just because it's so ridiculous and fun to use in PvP. So if you see me doing any PvP, I'll probably be invading with the Dragon Great Sword. <laughs> Just, uh, just to troll, you know, just to be a troll. That'll be fun. But we do need two more dragon scales to get it upgraded all the way, just like our Black Knight sword. So I think this is a good stopping point, actually. We have done a lot more than I expected today. I did not expect to go to Sif, but the inability to use the dragon great sword kind of bothered me i really wanted to show off its power attack before i ended at the end of this session after we went through all the trouble to go get it um i need to be looking up where the other dragon scales are so i can upgrade it all the way but next time we i'm not sure if we're gonna go after seath or if we're gonna go after isolith first to my knowledge it doesn't really matter uh, and I kind of want to do one of them before I go kill four kings. So, tentatively, the order of what we're going to do this in is we're either going to do Seath or Isolith next. And then immediately after Seath or Isolith, we'll go do... We'll go do Four Kings if I do Seath next. We'll go do uh, Neo if it's Isolith next. How's that? And you guys can give me feedback and um, 
I think by then I might have decided which path I want to take, but I don't know. I'll, I'll talk to some people about it and see which one would be better to do first. And with that, sorry about the really long <laughs> closing to this video. I just uh, wanted to get my thought process out on camera. And thank you for watching. This has been a magical playthrough so far. I'm, I'm glad it's going so well. And I will see y'all next time.